So in a recent update, we got loads of different new houses for ERLC and they are different prices and they have different features and different interiors. So in this video, I'm going to be going through the best house in the game because there's five different types. They're all different prices. They all have different sizes and styles and whatever. So if you do enjoy Earth Habs Travel, please do make sure to drop a like and also subscribe. But let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's start off with the best location for a house. So we have these five houses over here near the sheriff's office and that's the jewelry store and the tool store over here obviously we have the main housing suburbs and then over here nearby the barn we have about 10 more houses that are the same as these ones over nearby the sheriff's office now in terms of location if you are wanting to grind in your house or something or you want it as a getaway place if the police are chasing you then i would recommend the ones nearby the sheriff's office now i know it is kind of close to sheriff's office but where it is is it's very close to the tool store it's very close to the gun store and it's also very close to you know the jewelry store and it's near the main city as well they're the closest ones to the city so you can really get to places quite easily now if i go over to them houses if i can find where i am okay so they're literally just straight down here and you can see there's two different sizes so we have kind of the one with one window yeah yeah so we have the one with like one window on the side just like this and then you can see on this one down here, if I run over, you can see it has two windows on the side. They're just slightly different sizes with a bit of a different layout. I'm not going to go in all of them, but I can just, uh... Okay, now we can go in free cam. So if we go inside, as you can see, the... In fact, let's go to the door. So as you can see, when you go into the door, you have, like, a kitchen area, which is pretty good for roleplay. Then you have, like, a little living lounge area then there's a back door out but there's nothing back here but pretty cool anyway then through here i believe this is the bathroom it is so that's kind of in the middle it's pretty nice to be fair and then you have a bedroom here and i'm assuming this is a closet yeah it is i'm not sure what this is actually oh and then you have like a laundry area so i think this is another bedroom so yeah there's two bedrooms pretty cool it has a nice layout i quite like this one to be fair uh, and then if I just show you the other one, the one with two windows through here, as you can see, it's a slightly different layout. So the living room is over here, or the lounge, and you have the kitchen, and a little laundry area here, which is pretty cool to be honest. I quite like where that is. A bit boring back here. Would be nice if there was like a painting on the wall or something. But oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. So here we have a bathroom definitely a lot bigger and we only have one bedroom in this one so one bedroom in this one but obviously you have a bigger main area so it really depends on what you want to do but usually i wouldn't really recommend this one yeah i wouldn't really recommend this one i definitely recommend getting one of these ones the larger ones with the two bedrooms but yeah either way it really depends what you want to do if you just want to get it as a little hideaway area then just get any i'd probably say this brown one because you can hide your car a bit better uh or maybe this gray one to be honest because it's closer like really close to everything but again it's really up to you and obviously the ones at the barn are the exact same as that so i won't go over there and show you them they're fairly simple but that one i believe was 1480 dollars with two bedrooms in so Again, I would recommend that one quite a lot. Now, we have this big house. So, the big house is 2,600. So, this one is definitely the biggest. I am going to buy this one just to showcase how the garage works. So, if we go inside, obviously, you have a nice pathway up to it. This is with the big house game pass, by the way. So, you do need a game pass for this house. Just bear that in mind. Over here, we have a nice little table. Obviously, a kitchen here. I believe these are slightly different in each house. Like, the way the kitchen is. And I'm not sure why they're two different colours. That looks really ugly. But then we have a little living room or lounge area then a back area there's not really anything out here but there's a bit more to it uh then through here we have a bedroom so there's first bedrooms down here we have the laundry area through here we have the garage so as you can see if you press e then you can actually spawn a car here my internet is really bad right now but every car that you own you can spawn here so you can't buy cars here but if you own a car, then you can spawn in here. So as you can see, I own pretty much every car in the game. So I can spawn basically every car. But it's pretty cool. Uh, I like this one. And obviously you can get it on that house as well, which we'll talk about in a minute. But if we just quickly run upstairs in this house. As you can see, there's two more bedrooms in here. There's this one. A nice big bathroom with this house. With this bedroom. And then through here, again, there's another one with another bathroom. So yeah, this one's pretty cool. Obviously, this is $2,600 and it does require the Big House Game Pass, which is about 200 Robux. So again, it really depends on whether you're going to use the Big House. I would definitely say this one is more for roleplay. If you don't roleplay, don't get the Big the big House Game Pass and don't get, obviously, this house because it's a waste of money and you won't use it. And if it's the garage you're wanting, 
then this house or one similar to this will do exactly the same so if we go inside here through the door obviously I like the layout in this one quite a bit I like how the kitchen kind of opens up through two different doorways you have the lounge area big curved seat and you have this back area this back area is probably the nicest of them all to be honest it actually has some bricks here none of the other ones have bricks they're all just like nothing there or maybe a bit of concrete uh but through here we have one of the bedrooms this house is a bit of a maze we have a bathroom with a toilet in through another doorway here we have just an empty closet area through here we have the bathroom and through here we have a nice smaller bedroom but still very cool and if we go through here obviously we have the laundry room and then through here is the garage same on this one as well you can spawn in the garage door i personally think that these two houses here like with the gray color are definitely nice like they're very modern quite like the modern theme that they go for and obviously you have some of the other big houses around and there's loads of the same house throughout the map so obviously this one over here will be the same as the one that we're in now so you can see it's the same as the one we're in now but in a different location so it really depends on what you want to do and this house costs 1900 now you might have noticed that if you leave the game before 30 minutes you'll be refunded for the unused time anyway but either way it's still very very cool that you have that option and then the final house is this one this is my least favorite of them all so this one is 1480 the same as the ones uh in like the suburbs not the suburbs the ones near the sheriff's office that we were just at so in here uh, i've never actually been inside this one before but you can see this one is very very open so we have a table here we have a massive kitchen and a very big like open living area so if you want a lot of open space definitely say this one uh, and this one really quite simple to be honest through here we just have little laundry area through here we have a very nice bathroom to be honest with a weird bath like that uh through we just came out of that one didn't we so through here we have just a single bedroom and a little closet wardrobe thing whatever you want to say uh through here obviously a double bedroom again with a little closet area then through here we have another single bedroom with a closet so there's one double bedroom and two single bedrooms so this one is more of a family home i guess you could say and there's a driveway and then out the back obviously there's like a nice little brick area as well with some steps down it would be nice if there was actually just like some fences and stuff and maybe some things in the back of the houses but maybe that could come in a future update but overall the best house that you should probably buy in the housing suburbs would be this one it's fairly cheap has a garage and a very nice interior if you want to role play would recommend this one obviously it's really big and it's nice However, I do recommend that one over there for roleplay as well, or one similar to that, because the layout and uh, if you want to roleplay with children and whatever, then obviously that one because it has single bedrooms. But big family, this one, and if you just want a nice, nice little house, then this one would be good. I like the location of this one as well, how it's right on the edge. You can easily get away if you need to. And then obviously if you want to just want to grind and want to have like a getaway house or something, if you need to hide from the cops. Then one of these down here, or one of the ones near the farms, however, these ones are a lot close to the gun store and the jewelry store and the tool store and the city and all the main things. So would recommend one of these ones if you want to grind and have somewhere safe to go to. But that is going to be all for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure you drop a like and also subscribe. Make sure you check out my TikTok account, linked in the description below. Also check out everything else from the description, including joining my Discord server, so follow me on Twitter, follow me on Roblox, draw my Roblox group. There's loads of stuff you can do down there. But either way, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Yes, I